Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Channel 7 newsreader Rebecca Madern is currently living it up on a London holiday amid rumors she is worried a newly hired reporter is set to replace her. On Tuesday, the glamorous presenter, 47, shared some very laid-back holiday snaps to Instagram with her husband and daughter as they attended a family member's wedding. The Geelong-born stunner looked as though she did not have a care in the world as she laughed it up with her loved ones in the pictures. One sweet snap captured Rebecca with her husband Josh Miller and their daughter Ruby, 10, all posing up a storm at the wedding reception's outdoor venue. Madern showcased her incredible style in a slick white blouse, paired with a shimmery gold skirt as she rocked her best angles alongside her loved ones. Another photo captured a beaming Madern looking in great spirits as she attended a wedding party with family. She captioned the snaps with some heartfelt words, pre-wedding cocktail party, magnificent. Can't wait until you walk down the aisle. Her overseas holiday comes amid reports that the arrival of a former ABC TV presenter Karina Carvalho at Channel 7's Melbourne offices has upset network stars, chief among them respected news and sport presenter Madern. Seven sources told Daily Mail Australia that the longtime anchor has been left nervous about her role at the network following the recent hiring of Carvalho, 43, and a cull of dozens of network staff across the country. Cavill Hill this weekend covered Madern's usual evening news anchoring role alongside Micah Moore after she flew overseas for a family wedding. Madern is expected to be off air until September. Meanwhile, before her leave, insiders said Madern was furious to arrive at the network's Dockland Studios only to discover that Cavill Ho had already done pre-recordings she had been expecting to complete. Some staff think Karina was hired to replace Beck, one insider told Daily Mail Australia noting that Madern had been very vocal about defending her patch on the newsroom floor lately. But senior seven insiders pushed back arguing that Madern was too valuable to the network's news and sport divisions, and that the station needed more senior local female anchors. Madern is on a long-term contract and highly valued by the station, sources insisted. Behind the scenes, Madern is understood to be supported by her loyal colleagues who have been talking her through the tricky new dynamic.